Wherever he went, huge crowds followed Jesus. Some sought healing, others were looking for hope and acceptance. Still others were curious and hoped they might even get a free meal. Many people stopped what they were doing to follow this amazing man. People still follow his teachings today. In fact, we still hope for the love and acceptance that he promises. Out in the wilderness, he taught them, he inspired them, and he told them wonderful stories. He would speak to them about the Ten Commandments of Moses. He would tell them the stories of Israel's past. He would teach them how to accept God's love. Learn to turn the other cheek. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Don't be judgmental or you'll be judged too. The crowd had been listening for a long time and started to get hungry. Peter pulled out his hourglass and noticed that it was getting late. He showed the hourglass to Jesus. Jesus, you gotta do something about the time here. The crowd also let Jesus know how they felt. Jesus, I think you should send the people away so they can get their own food. But Jesus said, I've got a better idea. A little boy climbed the hill with a basket of food that was meant just for his own family. When Jesus and the disciples looked in the basket, they found only five loaves and two fish. The disciples were not sure how such a small meal was going to feed the crowd. Then Jesus stood slowly and raised the bread up to the sky. He broke the bread in half, raised his eyes to heaven, and then a wonderful miracle happened. The crowd was happy and excited because they had been so hungry. After they had eaten, the crowd got ready to leave. They were full of food, and they had heard the message of God. Jesus stayed behind to pray. He even sent his disciples ahead to cross the Sea of Galilee in a small boat. After they left, Jesus continued to pray. The next morning, Jesus set off to meet the disciples on the other side of the sea by walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on water, they were terrified. They thought that he was a ghost. Do not be afraid, it's just me, Jesus. Peter got out of the boat and walked towards Jesus, but Peter got scared because he could not believe that he was walking on water. He began to doubt and lose faith, but Jesus rescued Peter.
Like Peter, we all become afraid sometimes. By teaching us God's word, Jesus gives us courage when we doubt ourselves. His message teaches us what it means to be God's children. His message lives forever.